body? Good morning, Marcos. Oh, okay now. Um, my name is Marcos Oliveira for the online students, and uh, I will be your instructor afternoon. And uh, um, I'm going to talk about uh, Illustrator. And uh, the other uh, lecture that I did, it was about uh, two kind of files, right? And so this is kind of a follow-up for the file for the, the first. Uh, the first lecture, and uh, so this is going to be specific about the vector file. Okay, that's Illustrator. Um, as I said before, the uh, vector is a mathematical uh, code, and the, the advantage of using a vector file is, because, is that it is easier on the computer because they talk about the same, they talk the same language so the file it's very small compared to the raster file okay so the very first thing that you guys are going to do is go to your OCP and uh, you're going to go to uh, illustrator and uh, you're going to download the file. Do it for them. Do it with them. So you're going to go here, and you're going to open up Chrome, and you're going to put it on the big screen TV. So you're going to drag it over there, mm -hmm. and then you're going to show them how to do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's going to be the OCPB, right? Mm -hmm. So you click on it, you select. And you're going to Adobe Illustrator, and uh, we are going to Chapter One. It's going to be always in Chapter One, and uh, you're going to see there are files. Okay, so you download the file. You just click, and uh, now I go. And usually, this is going to be in your. Drag that over to the big TV. This is going to be in your. Download files. Okay? And in this case, here is going to be here, this one. So when you see this big junk of numbers, and it's going to be in a, it's, um, a zip file, so you just double click. And here you're gonna have all the files that you need for Adobe Illustrator, okay? Put those in the thumb drive. Don't forget that uh, <coughs> you need those files, so make sure that it's in your, dump, uh, your fresh uh, drive, okay? And the first one, I'm going to use the first one, that is the A1, uh, A11AI, AI for Adobe Illustrator. What page number are you looking at? And uh, I'm looking at the page number uh, 110, 111, in case you'd like to follow what I'm doing. And I double click and I have this motorcycle. And uh, what is different about this, this image? Anybody? Anything call your attention to this image? Yes. What? What? What is different in this image? Is this a photo? No. What is this? Because it's made of shapes, right? So sometimes in Illustrator you can create an image with so many shapes that uh, looks like a photo, right? So uh, what, again, the advantage of this kind of file is that, that you, you, once you did, you don't have to do it again. Independent of size, it's called uh, resolution independent, meaning that uh, it doesn't matter where you use it. For instance, if you want a poster, 
a giant poster, like 30 by 45. You can use this image, you can enlarge, you can reduce, and it's going to be always uh, high, uh, I mean, the sharpest image that you can have, as opposite to raster. So Things what image that is it again? It's a vector image? It's a, this is a vector image, okay? And uh, in this case, it's AI, that's the file. The, is there other programs that do this vector? Yes, but Illustrator, Adobe, <laughs> they, got, they took over the, the industry, let's put it this way, and the Illustrator became a standard, okay? So now, question. Let me go and answer the question. If I get a file from another software, what should I do to make it available to everybody? It's not AI. It's created by other software. Save it as a PDF. Yeah. Not PDF, because I want to keep, remember, no, this is a good, it's a good way. Uh, if I save as a PDF, it's not, it's not going to be a vector anymore, because PD, uh, uh, Photoshop creates raster images, okay? So the answer would be EPS, dot EPS. Now, yes, EPS stands for encapsulated post script, okay? Now, some people say that only EPS is only for vector. The problem is that Photoshop, if you go in the list of saving S, you're going to see Photoshop EPS. So if somebody tells you, oh, EPS is only for vector, no, it's not, okay? So you have to be careful with this. When you receive an EPS, okay, where was created this file? Photoshop or Illustrator? So EPS is, again, is a standard, okay? Is what is, uh, re, uh, the image that you see in your computer, the, e the post script is responsible for that, okay? So, my approach to learning software is this, is there is some core basics in the software that's not gonna change no matter what version, okay? One of them, for instance, uh, I would say that Illustrator now, since the beginning, would be like number 20 version. This is my guess, okay? Because they changed, it was numbers, and then became CS, and then become CC. So I would say that would be version about 20, okay? So, there is some functions in Illustrator that I have seen this since the beginning. Pen tool is one of them, okay? It's the, the rectangular uh, tool, the shape tool, okay? The text tool. So, my approach is, I learn all those basics, and if in two years somebody comes to me with the version 20, 20 second, let's put it this way, I kind of know what's going on, because I'm not fixing my attention on the latest uh, whatever uh, feature they are coming up. Okay, so, and this happens in every software. So if you get Microsoft Word, you're gonna see that this is going to happen, okay? Microsoft Word, for instance, tabs, never change it, it's always the same, since the number one, because that's that technology that you cannot improve in anything. You can make a little flash here, but it's going to be always the same, okay? So, if you fix yourself, like Photoshop, I know that I'm going tangent here, but if you're going Photoshop, layers, okay, they can do a lot of stuff, but a layer is gonna be always the same. Um, channels, okay, 80% of Photoshop function is based in channels, okay? So people used to do, let's put miracles in channels, and uh, they come up with something, some, some brand new feature that is based on this, just to make it easy for you guys. Okay, so how, um, one of the things that they say here in chapter one is to use uh, what they call the preview. The preview in, in Illustrator, nothing more than you see images without color, okay? 
Uh, because I love uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to show you that's control J Y. Control Y, and you're going to see only lines, okay? Line. If you are in the normal view, okay, maybe it's kind of a difficult to go here and select a part because there is something around or there is an uh, image on top. So by doing command Y, okay, it's much easier for me to come and click and select exactly what I want. For instance, when I select this one because it's grouped, everything's selected, okay? So if you want to select individually, use the direct selection tool, okay? Moving the first one, the, 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 that's called the move tool, it's going to be to, to do a whole selection, okay? And uh, the direct selection tool is the one that is going to give you access to some parts of the drawing, okay? It's also, and let me do here, it's also related to the pen tool. Because remember, all those tools, they are related, okay? In fact, there is only, should be only one tool to do everything, but they separate in parts because it's easy for you to. The pen tool, for instance, and I think, uh, let me, the pen tool, if I click, here is the mapping in, in click, click, and click. Okay? I have a shape now. Click, click, click. So if I keep clicking, I will have only straight lines. Okay? This is the pen tool. Okay? Again, start one, click, click. Everybody can see what I'm doing. And uh, when I go to the, for instance, this is tri a triangle that I'm creating here, okay? So when I'm getting close to the, the, the first point, you're going to see that there is a little circle in my pen, my pen, my cursor. That means that if I click here, I'm closing the shape, okay? Every shape is going to have uh, two parts. One that they call stroke, okay? Other programs don't call stroke, but uh, Adobe decide to call stroke, okay? Some, some call margin, okay? Or border, but Adobe call stroke, okay? And the other part is the inner part that's called fill. So stroke and fill are the two parts of, uh, of uh, any shape. It's so important that you see here those two icons here. One is the fill, that's a box, and the other one is, that is below it, okay, is the stroke. In this case, the image that I just created, it's filled with black, although I don't see because I'm still in the control Y. Okay, but I knew th that was black just by looking at these two icons here. Here is white, black, meaning that the sphere is black and uh, there is no stroke. Okay, if I want to color this stroke, I click here, the stroke, and I can select the color here. You see that now I have an eyedropper. I want this to be red, so I still don't see anything, but I know that my shape is filled with black and has a, a, a stroke, okay? And if I go Control Y, and uh, it's really thin because by default it's one pixel, by default, okay? So I can come back here, let me go back here, and I can go to Stroke, and by the way, what is the easiest way to find the tools or find the functions in Illustrator? This is Adobe thing. Which, which menu do you think I should go first? If I, suppose that I don't know anything, what's going on? 
and I want to find a specific function in Illustrator, Photoshop, or, or even in design. So what do you do? Yes, yeah, but I suppose that I don't even see the toolbar. Well, Where do you think I should go? Menu window. The window menu. The window menu usually is going to have uh, everything that you need. Okay? So you're finding Photoshop, and sometimes this happens. You don't see the toolbar. You don't see anything. Go to the window menu, and you see everything that you need. Okay? So in general, not specific, in general. So here, what I'm looking for here? I'm looking for my stroke, right? Yes. And I don't see it. Yeah, it's there. Look. Okay. Look. Okay. More. Okay. Where is this? Okay, here. Okay. There you are. Now, here, okay, this is the typical way that shows a, a, a tool. Where? Let me go again. So I go window and I have here stroke. Okay, so you click and here is the, the palette. Okay. Now, the way it is here, usually for I think that Adobe does just to save space. You don't see everything. So usually you should come here in this, what do they call the, the hamburger menu, and you click and you see show options. Okay? This happens every single palette. If you click here, you're going to see more options, less options. Okay? So I click here and I have all, everything that I need to know about stroke. Okay? If I want this to be, for instance, the, the default is one pixel, okay? I'm going to put five just for fun, okay? So automatically, when I go control Y and my stroke. And why this last one only? Because it was the one, the one selected. And this is important. Sometimes you are trying to figure out something, you are trying to change something, and it doesn't, uh, for some reason, the computer refuses to do it. It's not refuses because probably you forgot to select the, in the um, whatever you are working, the shape. Okay? So, in this, another thing also, do you see that my, what is my cursor? It's the pen tool, right? Right? So, instead of going back here and clicking on uh, the, the move tool, if I press control, look what happens. Okay? It changes, so I don't have to go back here and select this tool again. So I just press control, okay, and I can select. And it's now selected, okay? So I can go here and put five, okay? Now I have. Suppose that I would like to change the shape. Alt. And I I, you see Alt change my, my cursor. Let it go. OK. If I move, you see the uh, Pen 2 has about four or five options, like Pen 2 plus, minus, OK, and this one here that changes the shape, okay? I can get all, of, if I roll over here, you see the plus? Meaning that I can add, okay, a node. If I roll over again, for instance here, it's gonna become minus, means that if I, can, I click, I delete. So you don't have to keep coming back here to select the plus, the minus, Okay, you just click Alt or you move over. Okay, and I create another one here. Okay, and if I go here, I can change it. I can change the shape. Okay, what takes me to another uh, subject? When I do click, 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 and click, I have straight lines. But suppose that I want to create shapes like this. How do I do that? I click, let me do here, click and hold, 
I, I'm still holding my course, my, my mouse down, okay? My, and I drag, okay? Nothing happens, but you see that now it's not a straight line anymore. This line, this curved line, is just to show you what's going to happen when I click. It's a preview. So when I click, and because my fill and my stroke are already selected, this is the color that you're going to see here. I'm going to try to create here a a heart okay it's a broken heart okay now now how do I how do I make this a heart first of all I click my alt and change my cursor you see my cursor here if I click in the end of this handle that's here uh, uh, there you are. Come on. Man. Turn, turn off your snap back. Let me do this. Uh, okay, better. You see how sometimes it gets better to use this? So I can go here. Is this too? There you are. Now, this is straight handle that by default is straight. When I do this, I can make, this is the curve stops and starts again. You see, I can delete this one. Okay, and if I go here, and this time I'm using control, okay, to change, and I'm going to straight this, and you see how this, I don't want this to be moving around. I want this to be straight. Because I want this to be straight, what should I do? I press shift, and now it's going to be straight, you see? Now it's 45, 90, 45, and zero. And now it's not gonna move. Okay, I let it go, and I click here, I move this to the center here, and I move this to also the center and the, to match the other one, okay? I'm going to move this one a little bit. So, I just create a heart, okay? Now, did you notice one thing interesting? Normally, the tendency is to create multiples, we call this a Bezier node, okay, or point. I created this heart with only two of them. So, the lesson here is the less, the better, okay? So, um, in a circle, for instance, you should have the top one, the bottom one, the left one, and the right one. You don't need any more to create a perfect circle, okay? Let me prove to you, and I'm looking for the, 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 the ba, 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 ba. this one. No, this is the gradient two. Man, this is... Keep going up. Okay, uh, da, 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 no, no, no. Not the left. Okay, this one, right? Yep. Okay, here. And uh, you know, uh, in case you don't know, uh, the, the tools, when they have a little uh, triangle next to the tool, means that you have more options, okay? So in this case here, I want the, the ellipse tool, okay? And uh, I want to create a perfect circle. Anybody? Shift and drag. Shift and drag. Why shift? Because it keeps it beautiful. Shift is going, they call constrain the shape. The, the, the shape. Uh, okay, there you are. Okay, they, they say that you are constraining the, the shape. So if it's a, a rectangle and you press shift, you're gonna create a square, perfect square. If you are in the uh, ellipse tool, you shift and you create a perfect, a perfect circle. Now, if I press only shift, it's going to start from the left, wherever I click. What if, if I want to, to create a circle from the center? Anybody? Control. 
uh, Mark said control. Everybody agree? Shift and Alt. Alt center. It's going to create all, always from the center. Look. And shift to make sure that you have a straight uh, a circle. Now, the reason I create, did you see how many, it's called the Bezier, it's, it's a French guy, okay, that created the system. Did you notice that it's only four? On the very top, very bottom, there is only four of them, okay? And this is the minimum necessary to create a perfect circle or any kind of a, a <coughs> round a shape, okay? Uh, the reason I'm, in, I'm doing so, uh, I'm uh, in the pen too so much because, believe it or not, most of things that you create in the, in the pen tool, okay, are shapes that you're creating the other tools, okay? Uh, I consider the pen tool one that if I had only pen tool, I could take, uh, keep going. Of course, there is color, there is other things, there is text, but even text I can create using the pen tool. Okay, you want to pause it? It's hmm? 26 minutes. Okay. <laughs>